students we are going to learn something new in mathematics in this new year are you excited are you ready let's take a look around us numbers everywhere on your clock on a calendar on newspapers on mobile phones on the tv everywhere we have numbers now take a look outside your house you can see numbers on buses you can see numbers on other vehicles you can see numbers on billboards or the advertisement boards yes numbers are very much part of our lives so how do numbers help us in so many ways like we started on the clock for us to know the time for us to know the dates when we go to the shop we need to know how much money to give or when we get into the bus we need to know where the bus goes so all these things numbers are very important so let's begin our mathematics in class 2 let's recap what you have learned and what you remember let's put it all together and then we will go into the other units i'm sure you had a long vacation so maybe some of the things needs a little brush up so let's brush up all of it and then move on let's take page number 42 let's see how much you remember the first exercise is for you to fill in the missing numbers which is very easy the first exercise you have to fill in the numbers after 38 yes 39 then comes 40 then comes 41 all right so i'm sure you know that by now so can you try and finish those exercises from a to e let's move on to the second exercise on page number 42 itself write the number names for the following numerals so the numerals are given on your left side now you have to write the number names let's try an example 30 how do you write 30 this is the numeral and that is the number name you know it already it's just a brush up so the second one would be 36 30 and 6 okay can you fill in the rest of it all right let's move on to page number 43 write the number names of numbers represented all right let's take a look at this the first one there is a box of tens so if you count the tens there are about 100 and in the place of tens there is a single ten box and then in the place of ones there is a 3 so your answer will be so you all you have to do is count the box like you did in the previous class you will get the answers let's do one on d the abacus method so your answer will be let me just brush through the this is ones this is tens let's see and this is hundreds so okay so we have to this is the hundred abacus you all know is the rod and the bead system by which we can learn the numbers a little better so let's take the number 264 So four comes in the one column, six comes in the tens column, and two comes in the 
hundreds column. All right, you remember that from last year? All right, let's move on to page number 43, last exercise. Again, it is to remind you about the numbers. What comes before and what comes after? So after 43 comes 44 and then 45. In the similar manner, fill the rest of the blanks. Page number 44. Write the numerals. So the numerals, this is 37. This is the number name, so 37. So take a look at those and fill in the rest of the blanks. Moving on to the symbols. Greater than, lesser than and equal to. Remember studying this? Yes. Not everything is same. All the numbers have something bigger than them or something smaller than them. Some may be equal. That is the same numbers. So, let's look at this. Exercise 6. Compare and insert the correct symbol. Number 1, 35 and 7. Which is larger than 7? 35. Let's look at the next one. 75 and 75. Yes, they are equal to each other. Let's look at one more example. 30 and 48. Which is greater, which is lesser? That's right, 48 is greater and 30 is lesser. Now moving on to ascending orders. Small, big, 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 Just an easy way for you to remember. Ascending order is from the small one to the big one. And then descending order. We'll take this. Big one, small, 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 small. Okay, just a simple example for you to remember. All right. The next one is easy and it reminds you of food. Yeah, color the fifth cake, circle the seventh hat. Easy, right? All right, let's move on. There are in page number 45, you have to fill in the missing numbers, but this time they are the even numbers, then the num numbers counting threes and then numbers counting fives. So let's see. So after 4, the multiples, the, the even numbers of 4, 6, 8, 10, right. So you can fill in those numbers. 3 is, again you count 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 3, 9. So every 3 counts, you will write that number. And so is the easiest fives. It's just easy, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, Yes, so fill in. Now, the last one is place value house. Did you enjoy learning place value house in class 2? Let's try and draw a place value house. Let's draw our, remember our house and draw, right? It's easy, right? To do place value houses because all you need to do is remember a house. So, this is room number 1, room number 2 and room number 3, okay? Or we can call this as room on the right, room in the middle and room on the left, which again you learnt. So, we are going to try two of the examples. Like I said, we are just reviewing about what you remember. So, let us take the example 45 and 213, two examples from your textbooks. Let's start with, okay, let's mark this. This is the ones, this is the tens, this is the hundreds, okay? So let's try five, 
and then the 4 is in the tens. So, 45. We will learn a little more as we go ahead, okay. Now, 3. 3, the 1 is in the tens room and then 2 is in the hundreds room, alright. So, go ahead and finish those examples. Mm -hmm.